thanks for coming back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a purchase or pass, anti-haul, will I buy it, thoughts on new releases. I don't know what we're calling this video, but it's something along those lines. So if you want to hear my thoughts on some new releases, then just keep watching. I usually go on trend mood and I usually just go down, I scroll pretty far and I start at a point and we go oldest to most recent. So I'm going to start with this Joie collection, Joie, Joire, Joire, I don't know, Joie is a Bloomingdale's brand so if you know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment down below. <laughs> I definitely used to call that brand Joey before I knew it was French so, <laughs> yay. But I am loving this collection and I do really want to try Joie, this brand. <laughs> But, um, I just haven't bitten the bullet yet, I'm kind of at my limit with makeup purchases this month, and we only have a couple more days, so we'll see what I purchase next month. I already have my Sephora basket, like, ready to go, unfortunately it's like $100, so I'm going to have to remove some things and save them for separate purchases, but, anyway, the blush palettes are really what's up my alley, let me see. So I like the darker one, I think, but the lighter one is actually really, really pretty. I might actually get both. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I do really like them, and I like the size of them. Even the lip glosses look really nice. I don't know. I just think this um, collection was really, really well done, and the picture didn't look messy, and it was actually good quality, and way to go this brand that I can't pronounce. <laughs> the next picture is the MAC collection with... Tiana Taylor. Good for her that she's collabing with uh, Mac. I just don't know who she is. I love, freaking love the packaging, but I feel like Mac has been just re-releasing the same stuff over and over and over again. But yeah, I really love the package packaging on this. I like Mac products and that purple gloss looks up my alley because purple hair and everything although you can't even tell like it looks purple except for like when it hits the light but love the packaging on that collection I probably would get it just for the packaging because that is like whoo they did a good job on that all right this whole Fenty skin thing um everybody's like so confused by this as am I I don't know what the heck this is and honestly I don't really care I don't want skin products Oh, this one's the skin products that's actually legitimately skin. What's the one that's like a primer slash a lip gloss? Is that Fenty too? I can't remember. I'm sure we'll come across it, but still not really interested in this kind of skincare. I like what I have right now, and we're going to stick with it. The Patrick Star One Size collection is very confusing to me. I suppose they're going red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and they're starting with red, but... Yeah, I'm just not interested in this particular, these, I'm just not interested in these particular products, so, pass. And, okay, we have a new mascara by Pat McGrath, and honestly, this looks exactly like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, I forgot what it was called, I was going to say Born This Way, but that is not the name of that mascara, it's very opposite in the name there, actually, if you really think about it hard. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one just does not do anything for me, I don't care that it's Pat McGrath, like, I'll purchase maybe her mini eyeshadow palettes one day, but as far as that, I don't need a mascara that is $76. Oh, that's the bundle. Okay. Whew. Okay, the mini mascara is 37 and... I don't know how much this mascara is independently. Oh, $30 for this mascara, which honestly, that's not bad for Pat McGrath. Clara just came out with something that looks nice. A clarifying oil-free water gel. I don't even know what that is. Is it... Is it just a moisturizer? I think it's a moisturizer. I don't need any more moisturizers. We're moving on. Julia's Place just released some lip products which look absolutely bomb. I can't wait to try one day, pretty soon probably. I always need some more nude lipsticks, although who is really wearing lipstick unless you're doing a video because I feel like it just gets covered. No, I feel like it definitely gets covered by your mask if you work which I do, 
and I don't wear lip product. Honestly, I don't know why I wear foundation. I could probably just get away with eye products, but like, I'm extra and I like doing my makeup, so we do the whole thing. But the lip liners look really good. I wonder if they're sim similar to ColourPop, if they are. I actually don't really like the shape of the lipstick, like the actual lipstick bullet, like the product. It's like got a square flat tip, which not really a fan of that. But you never know, it could work out and the colors look really nice, so yeah. All right, let's talk about this Gucci. Did I talk about this already? I might have already talked about this. The Gucci bronzers that look like Clinique. Yeah, I definitely have said that already, so pass on that. Okay. This Give Me Some Shine Sephora Favorites kit is a joke and a lot of jokes after that. I, like, there's nothing good in there. There's the NARS Orgasm Lip Balm, which, come on, how many times are you going to try to sell this to us? The Fenty Beauty glosses and Lancome. Who the hell is talking about Lancome? Like, honestly, have you ever heard a YouTuber talk about Lancome other than the, uh, the fish, other than that mascara that I cannot pronounce? For real, though. Like, I, I never hear anybody talking about Lancome, so pass. There was a little gloss in there, and there's a Patrick Ta product, which, okay. But don't buy it just for the Patrick Ta product, because that is a waste of $25, which I'm $29, which, yeah, okay. I had a lot to say about that, and I didn't think I actually did. Okay, I love these new Dose of Colors palettes. I really want the green one, even though it's not very green, but it's very, like, khaki kind of green. I really like that, although those colors probably wouldn't look that good on me. The berry one is kind of boring, so probably a pass on that whole collection, honestly. Tatcha came out with a new rice watch. What? Okay, apparently the Japanese women have been rinsing their faces with rice. Okay, all the power to you, but that is not something that I would buy. Okay, let's talk about the freckle pen. The freckle pen hype. That's the word I'm going with. What is going on? I, this is such an Instagram gimmick that it's not even funny. I will not be buying these, these, like, why do you need to make yourself have fr freckles? I don't know. Sometimes they're cute, sometimes they're not. I don't know. Pass. I just don't understand. Let's talk about the fall collection by Stila, which I actually haven't looked at this. Oh, it's so pretty, all the packaging, but... It's pretty boring, and I feel like Stila is probably going to be like a extinct brand if they don't try something different. Because they did they did the glitter and glows right, but like honestly, but anything after that, not good. The Glam Light Donut palette, palette looks really really nice, but I just got all those colors in my BH palettes that I had just purchased. And honestly, this whole donut thing, it's cute, but not me. I like just sort of a general food collection, like the Sweet Shop by BH. I feel like that just covers a umbrella of different foods. And Cosmetics just came out with lip liners as well. And honestly, those look exactly like Juvia's Place. The lip crayons, that's so funny. The Artist Couture palette, how much is it? $30, not bad. I don't know. It looks like a nice neon palette. I've heard good things about Artist Couture brand. Oh my, those swatches look beautiful! Okay, I see you, Artist Couture. I am looking out for you. If I'm in Sephora and I see that, I may pick that up. That looks really nice. Let's talk about the Elf. Elf? Huh? blush palettes these look really cute oh my gosh i really like like pretty much all of them the only thing is they are so freaking tiny well actually the actual product isn't but i bet the whole thing is very tiny and you can actually probably fit a brush in there i was talking with my friend canoe this morning on skype and i was like you probably can't fit your brush in there but that was just from from memory but they look really really nice Unfortunately, they do look pretty light. Never mind. I probably won't pick them up because they look pretty light. Maybe like that peachier one and the bronze one, but other than that, I will pro- Oh, that berry one, maybe. What's this? Desi is coming out with a 
Oh, this is her candle line, I think it is. Kind of a good idea. I'm kind of like, I would like to smell them and see like what they are. I'm not a candle person, but like, that could be kind of cool. What is this? Nabla came out with body glitters. Those look really nice. I feel like though this picture, they totally raised the clarity on it because it looks like very, very pigmented and sparkly. We'll see. I don't know, I will not be purchasing that, and that actually looks like a massive product. Ooh, this looks kind of cute. Um, the Popcorn Palette by Sugary Cosmetics. I mean, I, the food thing, I don't really get it too, too much. It's kind of cool for like a collector's thing, like the Popcorn Palette is actually really stinking cute. Would I ever like use that? I pretty much have those colors and how much are you? $32. Not terrible because it is a collector's piece. Oh, actually, that is really cute. It's available now. And the little soda pop. <laughs> Blush palette or whatever you call that. And the movie ticket. It's kind of a cute collection. I don't know. I think they really did a good job actually on this whole thing. Except nobody's going to the movies now. So I'm not sure like where that thinking was coming along. Okay, let's talk about the Raw Beauty Christy and Pure uh, collab. I heard it was a mess launching it and I feel terrible for her because I watched probably every other of her videos, not all of them, but I like her as a person. I think she's a good YouTuber and all that. And I'm not going to purchase this because I have never tried Pure um, eyeshadows and I feel like this got really mixed reviews like I feel like people are saying it because saying they like the palette and that it's good because they like Raw Beauty Christie and they're not really like examining the actual product so I'm definitely gonna pass on this but it looks really nice when I first saw it first of all I thought it was two different palettes but it's actually one and it's front and back as you guys know this palette pretty much broke the internet but yeah, I don't know, I'm definitely, and I'm not getting makeup bracers, I already have ones that my friend gave me like five or six or seven years ago, and they're still in prime condition, and it's like a bigger, let me show you. I have four of these, and they're huge, and I can like get my whole face, like why would I get those mini, mini makeup erasers when I have that? Oh, let's talk about the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop. We already know I got these, I saw them. I did not hesitate whatsoever and I bought it. I should have just bought them all because that green one looks really nice and the bronze. I will probably buy them over time. Each time I buy something from Ulta probably, honestly, they're only eight, $18 and your coupon code for $350 off 15 works on them, so yeah. Um, they're very good quality. I'm wearing the blue one on my eyes today, so there's that. And we have Mina Cosmetics Times Neon. I don't know what this is. It's just face palettes. Nothing too exciting. Pass. Oh, this is the P. Louise eyeshadow palette. I do not understand how brands, like, take their pictures. Because this is so messy to me. And, like, I don't know what's going on with this launch like I know it's a palette and some lip products but they took so many different pictures that like I don't know I'm feeling very it's very like messy to me so pass on that the palette itself looks really pretty but they definitely should have included swatches of the palette because they included swatches of the lipstick so what the heck I don't understand how people think about this stuff Morphe came out with a collection, honestly, whew, yawn on that, that was such a fake yawn, it wasn't even, I didn't even, like, actually yawn, it was a fake yawn. I'm so bored with Morphe, although those little potted eyeshadows, what are they? Jelly eye shimmer, so they're gonna be similar to the Colourpop one, so never mind, and they're how much? Ten dollars? Okay, that's not terrible. I don't get the number two thing. That's all I'm gonna give to Morphe about talking to this collab, uh, talking about this collab. 
all these Desi sunglasses look really cute, but let's be honest, they're gonna be a lot of money, and they're gonna be sold out, you already know this. I don't know what prop of beauty is, but their nude collection looks really nice. Are you... Oh, it's a black-owned brand. I like that. Ooh, these nudes look really cool. They look... They're probably going to be darker because they have to fit darker skin tones, which is cool. I love that. They look like a um, satin finish. They look really, really nice. Some of those mauve colors look really pretty. Ooh, I'm... Ooh, that chocolate brown, though. I mean, that would be, like, real dark for me, but... That looks absolutely stunning on this person. I'm keeping my eyes out for these. They're $12 each. It's a lightweight creamy formula with a luminous satin finish, so it's definitely not a matte. That looks really nice. Can we talk about the <laughs> ColourPop collection? <laughs> this reminds me absolutely 100% of the Nine Pan palette that they put out not too long ago. I will try to post a picture because I feel like they are very similar. And what the heck are those blushes? I They just missed the mark on this. Oh, let's talk about the Louis Vuitton Beauty Lipsticks. They are $90 each. I'm going to repeat that for you to just let that sink in a bit. $90 for a lipstick. What the actual heck? Like, they look really pretty. I don't like the packaging because I'm prefer like a more traditional lip product but they are sold out oh they definitely raised the clarity on these pictures oh my god they are sold out how the hell does a $90 lip product be sold out I didn't even know they were still doing makeup like uh, that doesn't make any sense to me this is the Laneige lip sleeping mask in the shade gummy bear what 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 is this first of all the people who buy Laneige lip products are probably older women which is fine well actually it's 22 dollars so it's actually not that expensive but if you're a kid i can kind of see you asking your parents for this but like it is so bougie and you put gummy bear on it I'm so confused. I love the purple packaging though. I don't even know what gummy bear would smell like. Does anybody know what gummy bear smells like? Not me. Sweet? Candy Lake? I don't know. Oh, more food makeup. <laughs> I Heart Revolution. Okay, their stuff is actually really cute. Oh my god, wait, it's literally... <laughs> it's literally a hamburger with a little carton as a box. That is really cute. I just don't understand, like, this whole, like, oh, the drive through It's supposed to be, like, a drive through movie, which that I can get on board with because a lot of towns have done drive throughs in this quarantine, so I can see it. I can see it. All right. That is pretty cute. And I Heart Revolution is, like, hit or miss, but usually hit, I want to say. And Buxom is finally coming out with some new plumping lip creams. Oh, it's limited edition. I don't know why. This is, like... Their fall collection? Ooh, I'm into it, actually. Everything is like nude lipsticks, fall stuff. This is exciting. And that about wraps it up. So I hope you guys like this video. What are your thoughts on the products that I mentioned in this video? Do you like these videos? If you do, give it a thumbs up. I get a little sarcastic and cynical in some of these, but... um. <laughs> It is what it is. The makeup world is a thing where I love it and I don't understand it at the same time. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.